Welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie! We're taking care of the rest of Click Clock Wood today, which is the autumn and the winter sections. Oh, my favorite seasons. Now, the thing about autumn is, uh... Area of the Eagle is getting even bigger. He needs ten caterpillars this time. This is also the part that has the most notes in it. Oh, okay. We haven't we haven't getting very very notes here because they're all in here. Well, it seems like all the caterpillars are in here too. Well, yeah, there's there's a lot of caterpillars in here. But the ones that you saved from summer that you still have carry over here. That's nice. I like that. So hey, uh, why is it called Click Clock Wood? So anyway, uh, th this thing. No, here no, can't no, really no! Get right I, I need now. a proper uh, answer. Why is this called click clock wood? Because it's wood, <laughs> and it goes click clock. <laughs> Got it. What more do you need, man? <laughs> can't explain everything for you. See, I mean, why is it called Rusty Bucket Bay? I didn't see any Rusty Bucket anywhere. <laughs> see, I always thought it was Tick Tock Wood, in which you know you go through the seasons because time, but no, it's click clock. Yeah, th there is no time mechanic. Well, you're going through seasons. It's kind of like time. It's, just, it's not a. It's not a time mechanic, though. It's. It's. Just, I know. It's a state change. You know, that's what Zelda's missing. For some reason, you know, time. The way my mind goes. How is it missing, Niskul? I just want a game that has seasons. You know, like Ze Legend of Zelda Oracle seasons. Yeah, exactly like the game you're talking about. <laughs> It's like, you know what? I wish that there was a Zelda game where you played a flute. I, w I hope Nintendo gets on that, being a flautist myself. You know? well, I'm just thinking of, like, a bigger game, like Breath of the Wild having seasons. That sounds amazing. That w that'd be difficult to do, a map that huge. Oh, definitely. Well, it did have biomes, so that's pretty damn close. I mean, you know, most of the... Snowy mountain peaks. The most seasons had to do is just kind of change the color palette and change mm -hmm. a few things here and there. Well, since Breath of the Wild 2 is taking 10 million years- Get the fucking thing! What are you doing? Really? There. Okay, there we go. It's taking uh, 10 million years to develop because it's so dang huge. Uh, I, they- maybe they will have just, uh, weather patterns and whatnot. Maybe we can climb on walls during rain. That would be the biggest innovation in that entire series. So what's- what's Mumbo up to? That's a very good question. Mumbo! Charge into Mumbo's hut. Maybe we can take Banjo and Kazooie to the horse races. Oh, no, no, no magic. He's sweeping. Sweep many leaves. No magic today. Oh, is he doing his, uh, his, like, autumn cleaning? Yeah. You know, he puts his winter clothes, or brings out his winter clothes, puts away his summer outfit. Basically solidifying that you can only turn into a bee during mm -hmm. spring. I am glad they thought of scenarios for Mumbo to do in each of the seasons. You're like the one for winter. I can't wait for the one in winter. Is he in a Santa suit? Ah, uh, you'll see. Ah, uh, uh, I can't wait. You'll see. Ah, uh, you'll see. Ah, uh, uh, you'll see. I love it. I love alternate costumes. It's 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 like opening your eyes on Christmas. You will see. Ah, uh, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo Claus. Oh. There's ginger up there. Forgot we had gingos to collect. Yep. This level's huge. It it, it is huge. I mean, uh, not only is like the main level huge, but the fact that there's four seasons, so this level time is four. That's what makes it like really big. I do like how the only thing we are actually changing is the season, and the level stays the same. Like yeah, everything's basically the same. I like that. That's cool. There are there are a few changes that carry from season to season, like this flower and Eerie, for instance. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's good theming. So Gobi's fucked off. He's gone to the lava world. Okay, there's a lava world. He, he, he basically just fucked off. Oh, okay. So there is no lava world. No, no, no. He's okay. he's he's fucked off. <laughs> you sound so exasperated. Yeah, he's fucked off. He's gone. He's just not here. He's fucking gone. God damn it! Ah, God damn fucking black. Just, just do it later. Yeah, all right. Unlock it now. Achieve it later. Well, maybe I can. Man. <laughs> Come on, game from 1998. Get with it. <laughs> Why are you letting me win? Control like how you would in 2021. Come on. Let's see if I can get these three notes here from above like that. Yeah! Ow. Way to cheat the system. 
So, uh, you may- we were talking over it, but back in summer, we broke a boulder that was blocking this, uh, this guy's yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't get up, because it was just, you know, an unpassable wall, and we couldn't get up through Talon Trider or any other means, so we gotta wait until the water fills up in, uh -huh. in autumn. And it's like, oh, hey, what kept you? <laughs> Been waiting an entire season! Oh, so I got it for you, here you go! Well, that was nice of him. Now jump into the fire. There's an extra life, I know, but... We came up here for the notes. Do you, do you ever miss... platforming uh, collectathons like this? Oh. Uh... And I'm not talking about, like, I know Ukulele came out, but... I'm talking like... Well, I guess I am talking about Ukulele. <laughs> I don't know. We used to have these, like, a dime a dozen, and now we don't have them at all. I am glad that they are further and fewer, because oversaturation is a thing in any genre. Well, it's happening right now, where every game is the same. Yeah. We're all boring as fuck! So we gotta find Sorry. the fun ones. That is true. And then there are plenty of fun games out there. You just gotta keep an open mind and know where to look. Oh. Sometimes you'll be surprised. What's the last good surprise game you had? Well, I've got two I'm thinking of right now. One, one like, th there's one surprise that has, has surprised me. It, it has surprised me. Oh, that's good. And there's one that is currently in the middle of surprising me. Hmm... Let me make a guess. Alright. Murder by numbers. No. Damn it. But that is, I mean, it's just a Picross. I mean, I can't play Picross and go, Wow! Whoa! Picross? Well, I thought the story... My mind is utterly blown! Well, I'm just thinking of, like, the story may have been engaging. I haven't gotten that far in it. It, it is pretty good. It takes place during the 90s. And it's, 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 it's fun, but it didn't, like, you know, like, oh, I mean, I kind of figured it'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, just, I, I had a feeling. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise? I, I just forced myself to like it, and I did. <laughs> well, then I'm stumped. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin oh, yeah, was that's... the game that had surprised me. Because, you know, I just... Where the hell did this come from? It's a 2D action side-scrolling RPG that has a rice farm sim attached to it that's directly tied into the mechanics of the game. And it's also great and has, like, audio quality from the Dreamcast era, which I am okay with. Just, where did this come from? Good job, Where did this X wonderful fucking game come from? I love it! Good job, Xseed. It wasn't Xseed, it was a, a very, 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 very small Japanese development team called Edelweiss. Well, I think they published it. That's the only thing I'm Yeah, yeah, with. yeah they published it, but just, you know, it, very, small dev, very small dev team. I like it. We go in here and they're like, We don't got anything in here for you, you can fuck up. We got a worm in here, but we're kind of saving well, that. We got a couple of notes in here, but... Uh, some, some notes, nice. but Oh, it's gone. Well, okay. Is there another one that has greatly surprised you? Uh, the one of those that is surprising me right now is Chicken Police. Paint it red. <laughs> <laughs> it's this. It's this noir, not neo noir, straight up noir. Like you know, it's like it literally starts with. So I went back into my office, and there was a dame in there. <laughs> I knew she 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 uh, she's better on the block if she picked the lock, you know. But I had to figure out what she wants. <laughs> And it's chicken. It's 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 basically the style of aviary attorney and Hatoful boyfriend, where uh, you know, like your your main character is the head of a rooster and the body of a detective, <laughs> and yeah, you know, yeah, it's just okay. That's fantastic. The, the voice acting's pretty good. Uh, the story's uh, kind of nice. You know, it feels like that. Uh, whoever developed this loves noir films. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Love what you make. It's only 20 bucks for PS4, and it's like, hey! Oh, it's, wow. It's not bad. I love me a good adventure game. Because with adventure games, you don't know what to expect. With modern military shooters and first-person shooters, you, you can kind of expect mm -hmm. everything off the bat. This is Nutter, I think. Nab... No, no Nab Nuts. Nab Nuts. <laughs> he nabs nuts. Oh, really? Yeah. Sounds painful. We gotta go Nab Nuts for him. There are six acorns around this general area that he's missing. Oh, good love. Good love. Nabbing nuts. 
G good love. Good love, nab nut. No, 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 God no, damn no, it. no, no, get back no, up there, get back no, up there, no, 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 come on, come on, I can't get up there, oh All right, take two. Well, looks like you got your nuts nabbed. It's, it's, it's the fact that they're right there, it just... So, that is annoying. Ugh. Those birds are noxious. Fortunately, here is the winter switch, so now winter is open. Winter is coming. Winter's here. Well, over there, really. But <laughs> Where is winter? Oh, it's over there. Over there, Captain! Okay, cool. Carefully. Yep. No, uh, I really don't feel like falling off again. Two. Oh, God. Eight. Okay, well... So, what have uh, you been surprised by lately? Uh, let's see. What has surprised me? Might have to look at my Switch because apparently I don't like finish games anymore. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. Oh yeah, anime is fuck game, but it's self-aware enough to be actually interesting, and I like the combat. Now he's really getting huge. Well, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be really big by the time we get to winter. <laughs> Another game that's been surprising me. It's Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I must have just sucked back in the day, but apparently I'm semi-decent at Ninja Gaiden. Well, again, your sensibilities are different. The way you play is different now. And the controls actually work. You've played a Souls game. Well, if the controls work, then how hell? I might pick it up myself. Yeah, it's so much, so much better than Ninja Gaiden Black on Xbox. Oh my lord. Huh? That's good to know. So we pop in here, or is, uh, well... Is this Nutter's home? This is Nab Nut's home, yes. Nab- oh, sorry, Nutter's. Got Nutter's on the brain. Oh, hey! So you got one of your acorns in here, buddy. I mean, didn't you look in your house? He looks so sad. How'd it get up there? Well, yeah, he knows what- he knows what- he knows what fate's in store for him. Yeah, he's getting his nuts nabbed. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> this is like the sweet corn from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, that's mean. You guys are cruel. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Oh my uh, God. I think I can. If I do it right, I can grab it and then drop down to yeah, that th one. Yeah, this down is ridiculous. There. First, let's get this one. Got him. All right. So don't hover okay. or yes hover. Jump and then just yeah, there. There we go. Okay. okay. Shadows are amazing. Just gotta kind of hold A so you float a little longer to adjust yourself. Worked out. There's another nasty one up here. That well. <laughs> No, that's just wrong. Uh-huh. Come on. So, here's a question for you while we're collecting the rest of the nuts. Yeah. I've been playing through Order of Ecclesia again. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I've played and beaten it. The second time through, I am having a much better time. The game's still hard as balls. Yeah. But I'm understanding the mechanics a lot better. Have you ever had a game like that? Where you understood it better the second time? Hmm. Or you understood it, like, having a nostalgia run? One where I understood the mechanics the second time around. Like, something clicked a lot better and you realized, oh, I was playing it wrong. All I can think of is, like, Monster Hunter. Because it's not really that I had to play it again. It's just that trying another Monster Hunter had a shift in thinking. And I go, oh, that's how that works, and now I, 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 I enjoy it. Actually, I do this a lot, and I, we've talked about this in a different episode today, actually, <laughs> where you are playing a game, you stop for whatever reason, and I have a bad habit of restarting games when I haven't played in a long time. For one, it goes a lot faster, and two, I all of a sudden read and understand what I'm supposed to do. Ugh. This, this, this one down here. Okay, good. Yeah. It's an evil, nasty nut. Yeah. Basically, the point I'm getting to is Xenoblade Chronicles I now understand completely, and I'm actually having a grand old time. Ah, right, well, good. The Wii version was really bad for me to understand, but the Switch version is doing so much better. That's what makes it definitive. I know, it's playable. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, ah. I'm, I'm just... Something keeps me from going into C into Xenoblade. Well, don't think of it as Xenoblade Chronicles 2. 
Okay, well, duly noted. I will not think of Xenoblade Chronicles 1 as Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well, I've noticed... Uh, I have no frame of reference for what you mean by that, but... Yeah, well, uh, the first one has a fantastic story about being able to see the future. Mm -hmm. And a really likable cast of characters. A very intriguing uh, UK dub, but, you know, that's part of its charm. Uh, the second game is just as good, if not better, but with a lot of Blade waifus. Define blade waifus. As in, your weapons are sexy anime girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant. I meant like swords women. The, pe the people who <laughs> wield the blades. That's what I'm interested in. You're not that the, that the blades turn into se No! I do not want to fuck inanimate objects anymore. <laughs> Anymore. Anymore. I've converted it's you. It's the one time with the door. That's it. <laughs> this door slam in your face or something like that? Apparently or? a knot hole is not what that's for, but okay. Okay, cool. That's what a glory hole's for. <laughs> I found no glory that day. I found in no In fact, glory. a lot of sadness that day. <laughs> All right, well, we're uh, done with the fall for now. Let's move on to the winter and uh, start wrapping things up. Sounds fantastic, actually. So what's going to change in winter? Well, snow for one. It's, it's a bunch of it. I like snow. Yeah, uh, snow everywhere. Uh, a lot of the plants are dead. Oh, good. There's there's uh, mutant ice cubes everywhere. Some of the terrain has changed because of all the piles of snow. All the bee houses no longer have bees in them anymore <gasps> because it's too cold. Yes. See, winter's the best. And we got deadly snowmen throwing snowballs. Okay, okay winter is no longer the best. Because you can't kill these things naturally. This is where we're gonna get stuff like the two uh, missing honeycomb pieces, uh, the witch switch, and a few more. Uh... It's all in winter? Yeah. Damn. Because <gasps> a lot of what you do in winter kind of depends on what you do in the other three seasons. Like, did you, uh, <gasps> did you feed Eerie? Did you do the plant? Did you do this? Did you did, did you remove the boulder from from the the, the the beaver's cave? Okay, that's really nice. I see what you mean. Like you remove the boulder, which means now everything's cold. I think didn't well, it we? Well, just means that you can't. You know, if, you, if you didn't remove it, you can't get in there any other, any other season because you well, can only remove that boulder during summer. Okay. For some reason, I thought you know because we removed the boulder, all of a sudden it filled up with water. No. Okay. The Zelda's hive is oh. destroyed. Because they, they moved out. I guess. They're gonna go somewhere else. This is still generally the same. No birds come out and kill you, though. That's nice. Good. They all flew south for the winter. No, they all died. I know it's more likely they hibernated and flew south for the winter, but no, it's... <laughs> they're it, dead because Banjo shot them. They're dead because I said they are dead. And what I say goes... It's my channel, I'll say they're dead! <laughs> There's your, what's your witch switch down there. Witch switch? That switch. Oh, that switch? That one. What that, switch is that? That one there, with the ding. With the ding. <laughs> with the dingy on it. This is Nabnut's house, he's, uh... Well, I wonder what he's doing here. Time to break open his window, you monster. He's getting busy. Aww, busy sleeping, collecting with the, those Z's. With, it, with his lover. Oh! <laughs> Wake she... up! I need I need jiggies! Is she nabbing nuts? I'm sorry, that was crass, childish. Nab net. Oh. An entire net of nabbing. You know, uh, he used to be, he used to really big into Campbell's. Oh yeah? Before he uh, went to Acorns. Real a uh, soup to nuts story. I don't even understand that reference. Me, me neither, but it's a saying. <laughs> I just made my own reference. I want you people to like me, so I made my own references. Just laugh so my peepee -pee can get hard again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even hurt anymore. Oh, that's good. So what's Mumbo up to? He's frozen. It's not even here! Oh. He's on holiday! Now break him. 
Ah! Don't call me a hairy fool! That's hurtful! Where do you think Mumbo vacations? Swiss Alps. Just, just that. Swiss Alps. Yeah, it's no reason, just seems like a good place to vacation. Ooh, final Jinjo! And... Bip. Gotcha! You gotta... unlocked a gamer picture! That's for getting all the Jinjos! Oh, we're, we're, wow, we're wrapping up. It's it's really ending here. We only got two more Jiggies, a few more notes, and a couple more honeycombs, and one more witch switch, and one more... Okay, we, so it's not... Well, so so we have a lot more all to that do, is what we're but uh, we'll be uh, getting everything else at the end of this episode. Wow, what an arm. So, which means, uh, in the next episode, we'll be going to the end game. It's actually ending. It's actually ending. Oh my god. I mean, it's, it's not that long a game, if you do everything right. Well, still. The length comes from the fact the N64 re d uh, reset your progress every time you die. And the difficulty therein, but... Like, trying to fly! I'm trying to- I'm, tr I'm trying to get in here. <gasps> which is easier said than done. Still don't know about holding had, R to fly yet. Had, 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 okay. Uh, 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 so anyway, in here. Clench butt! Oh, is this another jiggy? Oh, it's his attic! This is his attic. Oh. Now, like, this isn't where I wanted to be. Hey! It's the, it's the thing! There's, I almost said the puzzle piece. Yeah, it's one not more a to get. Piece. One more empty honeycomb to get. And then we get the, we get the full health upgrades. I think we're gonna need it because you kind of suck at this game, bro! Not that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Try, I'm sorry. I got all the all the G's, man. I did everything. You say I suck. I mean, How could you say that? I mean, the the fact that you are in Click Clock Wood means you are obviously better than I am. <laughs> I certainly didn't get this far. Well, I'm doing it because it's, because it's work, not because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no! no! Oh, what a bunch of trash yeah, garbage! Yeah. <sighs> Oh, what a bunch of fart Snow am no, Snow shit. am letting that sit. God, uh... Alright, how- where's the nearest place to fly? These things suck. They do sucks. <laughs> Expert sucksores, am I right? Expert bad man. <laughs> They're terrible. Video game equivalent to the- the nice old neighbor from Home Alone. Who was thought to be a convicted murderer? It's top ten most evil things in in, in gaming. Number in gaming. One, number one, the snowman. <laughs> number two, other snowman. Number 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 three, uh, Adolf Hitler from uh, Castle Wolfenstein. Number four, <laughs> the snowman. <laughs> the snowman. Oh, Hitler in the snow. He's pretty <laughs> bad. Uh, this might be just a slideshow of Hitler in the snow. <laughs> just reminds me of the... And... A, one. a YouTuber I had, had never seen before, and this was around April 1st. Videos are fluctuating around... Ooh, look at Eerie! A very big... It's an actual eagle now, not an egret. <laughs> Somebody made a list. I think it was Jay Witz, a uh, Pokemon YouTuber. Ow. Top 10 hottest characters. Temperature, right? They were made. They were made of fire. <laughs> yeah. And most of them were fire type gym leaders. Uh huh. Yeah. Because hot. Because hot. I thought it was funny. Okay. Hi, I'm Bird. What's up? All right. Let's watch this 1998 eagle fly into the sky. Pre-bad fur day. Oh, right. There, I just shit out the puzzle piece for you. you no. Know the last Jiggy. Nope. Oh. The next to last Jiggy. Oh, there's one more? Yes. Hey. The witch switch. Right. Gotta get the witch switch. Right. Gotta get the witch switch. Right. Yes. I know how this game works. We gotta get these notes, too. I think these might be some of the last ones. I think we missed three in autumn. What about the ones on top of the little shack there? What about them? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, I think I think though. Yeah, so. Oh, I see. yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and get them. Yeah, we're yeah we're just we're missing 
Yeah, those four over there, then three in Autumn, then the Honeycomb, then the Witch Switch, and that's it. And then we're out. And then we're out. Out of material! <laughs> it's a very sad day. It's a very sad day. I worry about that, you know, doing these videos for so long, I'm gonna run out of comedy someday. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> it's like an expendable resource. There was, there was like a period, it's like, I can't think of puns! And then I got it back, I'm like, alright, I'm good. So a little loss in self-confidence brought back by a really good funny. By just doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that could be like the best humor, like, uh, 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 butts. And, and then the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Additionally, butts. <laughs> We talked about this in Donkey Kong 64. When all else fails, least common denominator. What is the least common denominator? Oh, just random obscenities. Well, that's a least common I'm talking the least common oh, the denominator. the lowest form of comedy? The lowest form of comedy. Well, uh, racism? Racist jokes, that's it. Uh... Let's see. To oh my uh, God! Uh, they're like not even like the racist jokes where you like go, oh, 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 oh. you know, the, just ones that fall flat and are tone just, deaf. Just an epitaph that's replaced by a joke. Here lies your joke. It's like you ever you, you ever notice how harmful stereotype about certain people, right? I mean, come on. I mean. Why don't they just not be discriminated against? I mean, <laughs> duh! That, that's that's how it works. I'm always haunted by Kramer's uh, <laughs> little explosion. I haven't seen. Uh, you, you know what he did, right? Oh, no. He, he, was, he was at a comedy club, right? Uh-oh. That's uh, always a bad sign. No, it's not always a bad sign. Some people do good things at comedy clubs. That's true. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Well, there's my form of comedy, just making fun of you. Aim, damn it! So he was getting heckled, right? Yeah. By an African American gentleman and, uh -huh. and, and a friend of his or two, and he just starts dropping the end bomb a whole bunch. Oh. He thought he thought it would be like a shock, a, a shock way, but it just it was just hateful and screamy and bad and ugh. So, uh, let's go into the water now. That's cold. It's very cold. It's cold. Icy water takes double air, so it's like Rusty Bucket Bay, except that your air drains super fucking fast. So you gotta hurry. Go, go, go. Gotta hurry. Go. Gotta hurry. You're drowning. Gotta hurry. You're drowning. Gotta hurry. You're drowning. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Hurrying. You are... Okay. There. And again, you gotta be out of the water for a bit before you get it back. There's the Boom. last honeycomb! Yeah! Show me the honey! Show me the honey! Yeah. Oh, you're gonna wrap up all the achievements, too. So we got full health. All that's missing is just the notes and one last jiggy, that's it. And a witch switch. That comes from the last jiggy. Which we can't get. So make sure you remember which way you went. Oh no, Badger's gonna drown and it's gonna be sad. Because if you don't, he will drown, but if you just remember where you came from and where to go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> where do you hail from, Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> Up there! <laughs> Gah? That was cursed. I'm hilariously sorry. <laughs> I come from there! Gah? <laughs> Gah Garsh! <laughs> oh, he's a Disney mascot now. <laughs> A uh, yuck. That's what we need. Banjo to be owned by Disney. No, thank you. Maybe then we get another game. God, if Microsoft is bought out by Disney, the world's over. Actually, that would be interesting. Well, we get to see Mickey and Halo at least. Maybe we could get Banjo his own animated series. I would watch it. Disney should buy all of the video game companies so that way they can do a true Wreck-It Ralph. That'd be pretty awesome. Like, the characters we got in Wreck-It Ralph, a, a nice nod. I like those. So some people hate Wreck-It Ralph 1 but love Wreck-It Ralph 2, and I can't imagine why they're like that. 
I haven't seen Wreck-It Ralph 2. So Wreck-It Ralph 1, it, it deals with like retro games and like arcades and stuff like that. Yeah. That's that's retro. It's th that'll be timeless and because it's because it's in the past. So it's the internet part that they don't like. No, that they, they love Wreck-It Ralph 2. I don't know why. When in a, in a few years it's going to be outdated and irrelevant. That's a very good point. And I also hate what they did with the story. I will keep an open mind, as I probably don't watch it. I I know me. <laughs> me won't go out to watch movie. Me no go out watch movie. Me no good. movie go see no. <laughs> me no movie so, go. So uh, this is me thinking. All right, uh, there's a few more notes in the autumn portion. All I got to do is just take the B over to autumn, because the, I I know where those three notes are. Is that how that works? They're in, they're in one of those uh, bee traps. They're bear traps that won't uh, that that won't eat a bee. So if I ah, go over to the autumn section, I see. I can do that no problem. Wait, yeah. what's up here? That's yeah, it's, it's oh, a whole lot of ceiling nothing. up there. So here I go, going to autumn. Gonna get those last three notes, and everything will be good and fine. Nope, mumbo magic run mumbo out. Mumbo magic get weak. <laughs> Mumbo, no B, Autumn, make no gad, no go, no goodbye. Uh, so I gotta do it the old-fashioned way and figure out another way. Alright, well, just jump right in. There we go. Hey, what's up? Get me killed. So there's three notes right there. Can, can could, you hurt them? I could brute force it, I could, you know, can't really kill it. Can't really... Eggs don't so do anything. So what the hell do you do? Well, that works, I guess. Music maestro, ow! That is, uh... That Get is out. all the notes. Get out! That's all 900 notes! Yes, we're all happy! We're all proud! <laughs> Alright, now we've done the witch switch. We can get out of here. We gotta get the B again. Damn it! That's what I thought. Yeah. Alright, well... Mambo, wake up! Well, you really like being B, don't you? Maybe it'll turn in you into a dishwasher again. Ever thought of bee wasp? Maybe fly. <laughs> Mumbo hate fly. <laughs> Just imagine if Mumbo accidentally made you one of his phobias. He's like, <laughs> ew, spider. <laughs> accidentally kill barren bird. Oops. So we can take the bee out here. And go flying. We can fly up here in this area. We go on this is how we get on top of the world and get that extra life. Oh. If I can get my Just fat pull ass it around, around to pull get it around. The, the fuck, ah, it. fuck it. It's not what important. What's important is up it there. It is the last jiggy. It is the final jiggy of the game. Wow. No extra lives, no extra no extra levels or anything. That is a hundred jiggies. That is all of everything. Where's the achievement? Where's the achievement? You think there'd be one? Well, yeah, you got all the jiggies. Well, that's that's easy to do. Getting all the notes, that's hard. What? There's no achievement for getting all the jiggies? Nope. What a ripoff. Microsoft, what are you doing? So now, uh, we've got uh, all the notes, all the jiggies, all the health upgrades, all the everything we can get in these nine worlds. It's time to move on to the ending of the game. Oh, shoot. Through this door <sighs> lies the end of the game, and we got, well, we have more than enough notes to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So next time, on Banjo-Kazooie, we face off against Gruntilda. See you next time. Oh shoot, I need to catch up. And, and Niskel has no idea what's coming next. Nope, no idea. 